thank you and thank you for this opportunity. Again, my name is Jerome White and I'm the candidate of the Socialist Equality Party for U.S. House of Representatives in the 12th Congressional District. And as a candidate of the only party in the 2006 elections that speaks in the interests of the working class, I demand an immediate withdrawal of U.S. troops from Iraq and Afghanistan, an end to the attack on democratic rights, and a guarantee for all working people to the right to a decent paying job, health care, education, and housing. The Bush administration dragged the American people into a war on the basis of lies about non-existent weapons of mass destruction and terrorist connections. Its strategy was to use military power to conquer a small country and seize control of its oil wealth. Now the war has already exacted a terrible price in human suffering, including 655,000 Iraqis who have lost their lives and nearly 3,000 American soldiers, including some 100 Michigan citizens, young people as young, as young as 19 years old from Hazel Park, Warren, Detroit, and other cities, who for the most part joined the military because of the lack of prospects for a decent future. Now, the loyalty of these soldiers and their families was exploited, and they have been used, and they are victims of this war just as much as the Iraqi people. The American nation was founded in a revolution against colonialism, but the U.S. government is now trying to revive colonialism in Iraq, where American troops are seen not as liberators, but as occupiers. Now, the Democrats and Republicans present this war as a war for democracy, yet each day the Bush administration tramples on the U.S. Constitution, just yesterday signing the Military Commissions Act, which which attacks the writ of habeas corpus and which sanctions torture. My opponent, Sander Levin, and many of the Democrats have in fact provided a green light to the, Demo to the Bush administration in this war. Now, it's a, it's a fraud to claim that these wars are to defend the security of the American people. Because in fact, in America, there is a government-backed corporate war against the working class. Corporations like Delphi, General Motors, Northwest Airlines are slashing wages, attacking tens of thousands of jobs. Foreclosures in, uh, in Macomb have shot up 230%. As I said, I am the only candidate that speaks for the working class. I say it's absurd to claim there's no money to guarantee decent paying jobs and health care for all. After all, we live in a country where a CEO makes 430 times what the average worker earns, and the richest 1% controls 40% of the nation's wealth. I call for a radical redistribution of wealth and a reorganization of the economy to meet the needs of working people, not corporate profit. If you'd like to learn more about our campaign, uh, which you haven't heard about because my opponent, Sander Levin, uh, has not taken part in any debates. In fact, I would challenge him today that to take part in the debate against all of those who are on the ballot. But I would urge you to read our program, which is on the table back here. And thank you very much for your time. Okay, for the congressional candidates, um, the uh, topic of immigration and securing borders has become quite heated in the past year or so, and I, uh, an audience member would like you to share your thoughts on that. And Mr. White. Uh, it is a principle of the Socialist Equality Party that any worker must have the right to live and work anywhere in the world that he chooses. American political life is increasingly taking on uh, extreme right-wing chauvinistic character. Uh, the scapegoating of immigrants, just like the claim that uh, the problems uh, of the lack of jobs and the lack of services is caused by the special privileges of minorities and women, this type of politics is used to divert the anger of working people away from the real cause of unemployment the corporate dictatorship of the wealthy 1% and get us to blame one another and fight one another. I mean, after all, we're in, you know, we're in a, in a, in a, in a restaurant named after a great Italian city. I mean, America is a land of immigrants, except, of course, for the Native Americans. 
And racism and anti-immigrant chauvinism has always been used to divide and weaken the working class. We reject that. Every working person in this country has to have the right to a job, health care, and housing. And it's a fraud to claim that there's not enough money when $500 billion is being spent on a criminal war in Iraq. 